Yeah. A free one went home today and two goals for yourself. Must be buzzing after that one. Yeah, good day at the office. Good day all round. Obviously, a bit, all, a little bit of disappointment just to concede a goal. Um, but I think that shows the character of the players that we're still disappointed after the win and the performance. Um, but at the same time, yeah, you can't. To play the way we did at home, win 3-1, um, after backing up the performance of last week, is, is good signs. And, and a brace for yourself today takes your tally up to five for the season. It's the same as what you managed all season la la last time out. Yeah, yeah, it's... It's funny how it, how it comes around. Um, luckily this season I've managed to find the back of the net. Um, got to give credit to the lads, um, obviously, that they're winning the penalties as well. Um, but yeah, no, to, to get up and, and to put my way is always nice. Obviously the first one, the keeper managed to get his legs to it, but luckily come out nicely to, for the rebound. Um, but yeah, no, hopefully, hopefully they keep coming. You say credit to the lads who won the penalties. You won one of them. <laughs> uh, how did it feel to, to race through, see that shot go wide, but then, but then hear the whistle for the penalty? Yeah, it was kind of, um, obviously I won the initial header and kind of my momentum just took me into the run. Um, great hold up play from Matty just to, just to hold him off. Um, and luckily I was um, kind of proactive in, in that to, to race ahead. I saw the keeper coming out and there was only one option to kind of chip it over him. Um, and as I chipped it, I knew possibly it wasn't going target, but I knew he was coming out. So if it wasn't going in, then it would have been a penalty and uh, luckily the referee gave it. Another goal for Aaron Collins. Nice to see him first get off the mark and, and, and kick on from it. Yeah, he looks sharp today. I think with, with Aaron, um, I think he's coming into the form that he probably was hitting last season. Um, came into the building at the start of the season with, with a lot of good words said from him from his time at Morecambe. Um, we found firsthand that when we went up there. And uh, no, I think he's playing with confidence and, and strikers that are playing with confidence that can be dangerous. Do you think that confidence is now flowing throughout the team? It's, it's really clicked in the last last couple of weeks. Yeah, I think obviously defensively we've been sound um, up in up until now. Obviously with the the previous games, but I think now we weren't scoring many. But I think that's just starting to turn. It's just starting to click. Um, the strikers and the attacking players we've got in the building are very very good, and we've seen that in training. And I think the fans are now starting to see that in in game performances as well. And you've mentioned that defensive solidity. Obviously, today we did concede a goal, but do you, do you feel that maybe that might have been a little bit of a worry at the back, and, and you're kind of fretting about conceding a goal, and you can now play more freely out from the back and and build from there? Um, wouldn't necessarily say that. I think we go into every game with the same mentality. We want to keep a clean sheet every game. Um, obviously, with the way that we play, we do like to play out. Sometimes we do take risks, but measured risks, I think, um, and that's paid off. With five clean sheets in the last six game, obviously today um, we conceded. We'll look back and we can see how we can do better in that area. But all in all, I th from a defender's point of view, I think we've looked solid, not just in a defensive third, but from the attacking players as well. And top of the league as well, how does that sound? It's always nice. Uh, and obviously, I know it's only October, but it's, it's a real a plinth to kick on from, isn't it? Yeah, of course, it's, it's early days. Um, we know from, from last season there's... There's a lot of ups and downs in the league, but if we can we can put ourselves in and amongst the mix, and uh, our aim will be to stay up there for as long as we can and keep churning out the performances. Because if we ch churn out the performances, then usually the results come as well. Um, we're at home again on Tuesday as we we face uh, Coventry City in the Leasing.com Trophy. You don't net yet know whether you're going to be involved in that one, but how are you approaching it? Like any other game, obviously it's, it's a great competition. I was fortunate enough as a player to win it and go to Wembley, so I know the rewards that, that come with it. Um, but for me, looking at this bunch of players, whether the same 11 play or any of the 22, 23 squad players we've got, I've got full belief and trust in them that whoever comes into, into the team will give 100% and they've got the qualities and the attributes to put in a good performance. Does that show how good, just, how, just how good this squad is in terms of the change room and, and how, how much you all trust each other? Yeah, I think so. I think from the start of the season to now, players have, have come in and come out, players have come off the bench and, and won us games, put real impact. So I think that shows the depth in the squad and the trust in the manager, the trust in which the manager has in these players. <laughs> Oh, yeah.